My enzyme knowledge is probably pretty rudimentary. I know that they're good for you, and I know that you need them, and you lose them over time, but I don't know exactly how they function. I've heard of enzymes, but I don't think I've read anything about enzymes in particular. Um, much more about vitamins and minerals. If you don't have any diseases that are hereditary, yeah, we're, I would say yeah, we're pretty, I think we're healthy. definitely health conscious individuals. Diet and exercise. Cut out sodas. I would like to try to eat less meat. Trying to educate my children on what is healthy. You know, part of me feels like we're still too young to be worried about our health actively, but it's, you know, it's funny, even as you get into your late 20s, you start to feel uh, less invincible. We had no idea even what kind of a room we were going to be walking into. We actually were given no information in advance. Yeah. We were just told to come in and check out the uh, instructions that we would find on the table. Started our experiment here. We just followed the steps on the on the iPad. A simple, you know, oatmeal water formula, totally identical in the two bowls. And then we added the enzymes. There's a lot of mystery surrounding enzymes when it really shouldn't be. They're very simple to understand. You need them. <laughs> they need to be present. They need to be in the cell for the cell to work. You need them for help. Everyone needs supplemental enzymes. They just don't know it. I'm Dr. Fuller, and I'm an enzyme specialist for the last 35 years. One of the first things that I was given was a very important book that was studied by dietitians and was studied by the medical field. I noticed that they lacked the first two chapters. They said nothing about enzymes, when the truth is digestion, eating for our cell, getting nutrients to our cell, is all enzyme dependent. For doctors who didn't know anything about enzymes at the beginning, we would put an enzyme in oatmeal. The enzyme would break the oatmeal down, and they would see the oatmeal go to this very liquid base. And this one certainly isn't, you know. If you take in food that you can't break down, then those foods become problems. And then a very important thing, if you take in fats and you can't break it down, then we make plaques and proteins that you can't break down, they putrefy. And what if it's the very best foods you can eat, but your body can't break it down? The difference is stunning. This is what this high quality uh, digestive enzyme does. It helps us digest our food properly. We are assuming that everybody can perfectly digest their food, and that is not true. And we assume that all the nutrients get to the cell. And again, that's not necessarily the truth. Okay, now let's see what you show us. So what you're seeing are your red blood cells. Do you see this sticking out over here? Yeah, what is that? It's plaque. You've heard about plaque, the plaque in arteries. Well, uh, when you have plaque, that is inflammation. That is the sign of inflammation. So the cells are kind of moving around, but they're, they're a little bit stuck together, you see? Okay, and so we see some toxins in here. And what did you eat? Just vegetables and fruits. Which we all consider to be good food, do we not? You know, yeah. but even vegetables, even, even things like this, can be a problem for us to break down carbohydrates. It's called a leptotrichia, and we only see it when people have stress. See, here's this red blood cell that's moving. We would like more movement, and you'll see later what we're hoping to have is for these cells to be moving more. So that's what enzymes are all about. They'll help you digest your food. They'll get your red blood cells moving with more oxygen, and then a very important thing, they can get rid of the waste. Systemic enzymes have been formulated and blended to work only in the presence of blood. So it no longer stops in your stomach. It will just go straight on into your blood. They're natural, they're bioidentical to the human body. We don't make enough enzymes to meet our need. So you can't take too many, you can always take too little. So we're gonna suggest that you take something that will help you at the cell. And then, a half hour later, you see the difference that taking the enzymes makes. That was really powerful.
cells are moving more freely now. Great white blood cells, you see they're everywhere. By doing that, you also shouldn't have the buildup of plaque. And so the blood's moving more. So what I'm seeing here is you dropped a lot more toxins. To see it visually, I think, makes a big difference. It could change the blood so quickly. Like, we're much more likely to undertake any new amazingly healthy habit if we can see physically the effects, which is, you know, absolutely what happens here. That's why we take enzymes on a regular basis, so that they can keep everything flowing properly, and they can get the nutrients where the nutrients need to go. I intend to take them, you know, every meal from now on. I'm going to preach enzymes, I swear I am. When we come into this world, we come in as one cell. So everything, Everything is about the cell. How important are enzymes to the cell? Without the enzymes, the cell can't live. How can you say anything could be greater than enzymes? I do not know as a scientist how you could.